Rigs for autumn fishing shouldn't really change from what you're successful with in the summer, to be honest. The rig is constructed to suit the spot it's landing on, and that's really, really important. You've got nice, clean, firm bottom out there. There's gravel in places. The lead's not burying in at all. You're getting a lovely, solid donk. I've found running rigs to be really effective in these sort of situations, especially, you know, this is a, a, a commercial lake with lots of different people fishing it. The fish are very pressured and often a running rig can snare fish that a semi-fixed rig will not. I've got running leg clips on. I've basically just squeezed the eye that goes inside the leg clip um, just a little tiny bit so that there's hardly any purchase inside the leg clip. You can just about pick it up out of your hand and then it falls off the swivel and it turns it into a running rig. And um, you know it doesn't stop you getting proper takes. I've had absolutely blistering runs here, but it just means that the fish have got no anchor point. So when they pick up the rig, they detect something's wrong, they shake their head, Sometimes with a semi-fixed rig, they can use the weight of the lead to shake the hook out. Fishing the running rig with tubing on it so that it's very anti-tangle is my number one choice. And coupled with that, your good old faithful combi rig. And I do that in two different ways. One is with the 25 pound boom material. I crimp a big loop at one end. That goes onto my quick change swivel that fits inside the lead clip. Um, and I, I crimp a very small loop at the other end. Um, crimping is very, very easy to do if you've not done it. Um, just follow the guidelines on the back of the packet. They're double barrel crimps. You go through one, make the little loop through the other uh, and literally just line up the two barrels in the jaws of the crimp tool and squeeze it down and it, and it just compresses the whole thing. If you flatten it completely, you've done it wrong and um, you want to be testing it really to destruction before you put it out there. If you've done it wrong, it will slip quite easily. If you've done it right, it shouldn't, it shouldn't go at all. It's very, very strong. And then at the end of that, I've got like a loop system. So I double over a bit of 30 pound armor cord, which is quite a stiff braided material. And I use that on purpose so that it throws the hook out. If you use stuff that's very soft, like Supernatural, I've tested it in the edge a lot. And you've got the real, real stiffness of the boom, pushes it all out away from the lead. And what happens generally is the hook bait comes back on itself and falls back on top of the hook link if you use a really soft material like Supernatural. Um, so I've used the armour cord because it's got that stiffness to it. It is floating, but it's only an inch long, so it doesn't make a jot's worth of difference. Um, and that pushes out straight every single time. And the, the only critical aspect of a combi rig, in my opinion, is that there is a difference between the two materials. Um, it's called a combi rig because it's a combination of materials. So as long as the bit at the end near the hook is softer than the boom section, it doesn't matter how soft it is. So the boom here is very, very stiff and that material just works brilliantly with it. So I basically double it over, do my favorite whipping knot, but you only have to do three turns around the hook before you pull it tight because that gives you six wraps of material because it's doubled up. You end up with two hairs sticking out the top of it. I cut one of those off and just pick the one that's dead center of the back of the hook. And then I do the same whipping knot again, further up the hook to hold the hair in place. I'll do that instead of using the rig ring. Um, and then I've normally got probably a five mil gap. If I'm using a wafter, I'm using a claw hook, very, very heavily interned eye, quite a long shank um, and an intern point. The ones that I've connected with have been absolutely nailed on that setup. So I think if you're gonna fish at this time of the year, you know, when the fish are eating bait, um, I don't think you can go far wrong with a wafter if it's presentable.